the day is progressing well. Um, had enough uh, hot water to take a shower, um, but I have none left. Um, I have a tendency, I have a pretty good job, so I have a tendency to throw money at a, at a problem, which is surviving in this case. <laughs> and then I don't, uh, sometimes I don't follow up on what I have uh, purchased. For example, um, this is the first time I've used that battery pack for anything. Um, and about three months ago, I bought this solar panel and this uh, charge controller for it. And uh, I've never used it. <laughs> I've never even opened the, uh, the box on the solar panel. So, uh, and I've only, I only scanned briefly the directions on the charge controller, although it looks pretty basic. Luckily, I'm a mechanic. We uh, do stuff like, something like that anyway, all the time. So, first time I opened the box. <laughs> Such, so much for being prepared. Oh, an interesting little plug. Hmm. Little screws, I assume, to put it up with. Oh, let's hope it's not broken. I didn't even open it up to look and see if it was broken or not. That's sheer negligence right there. If you're going to invest in stuff, you might at least want to open it up and make sure it's <laughs> intact. Okay, that's the thing about life. You don't have everything. If you uh, if you're employed, if you have a good job, then you have no time. If you have time, then you have no money. By the way, this is a Leatherman Wave uh, multi-tool. Little thumb deployed knife. I carry it with me at work and at home. Serrated blade. I highly recommend this as a uh, survival tool. Then of course you got the pliers with the wire cutters and couple of different like the small wires and the really thick ones you can cut them both with this but this is not about the Leatherman wave but I carry it with me all the time <laughs> pretty pathetic not much of a survivalist Am I? <laughs> but, you know, this is the reason why I'm holding this uh, power outage drill, I guess you could call it. Because, uh, so I can actually do the, these things. Okay. Oh, that looks promising. looking. This end faces down. Nice of them to tell us. <laughs> huh. Unfortunately, they didn't give us uh, the other end of this plug. So I'm going to have to chop this plug off and splice it. Unless I have one in my junk box. That's a good thing about being a mechanic. You can hold on to stuff like that. Directions. Cool. Yeah, the reason I'm digging the solar panel out is because uh, even with light, rather light use, my uh, emergency battery cart is no longer showing full. A full charge, that is. So, and we have an unusual situation. Oh, forget what I just said. We do have extra plugs. Awesome. 
This even has a cigarette lighter attachment. Excellent. Okay, they squared me away. Good stuff. Now, in my amateur knowledge here, the solar panel itself, um, if you just plug it in uh, to the battery and throw it in the sun, it'll charge it full blast. And if uh, your battery uh, has exceeded its voltage level, you know, and it'll, the voltage will just keep rising and rising once the, uh, the battery is fully charged. And then you might turn around and find the thing having 19 volts and you might hear the battery uh, electrolyte boiling <laughs> and you don't want that. So basically when you have a solar panel you have to have a charge controller too and that cuts the uh, cuts the battery out of the circuit when uh, when the solar panel is uh, is exceeding the voltage that the battery can take. This is a 7 amp Okay, as you can, ooh, okay. As you can see, I set my solar panel outside, and now it's time to take a peek and see what this thing puts out. Oops, I got the polarity wrong here. Okay, notice how it's kicking out 25.43 volts. Now you don't want to really exceed like 14 and a half volts charging a, a lead acid battery like this or you could boil the thing. So uh, that's the reason why the charge controller uh, comes in. So um, now for example, right now, our, now it It'll kick out a lot of voltage, but uh, but not much in the way of amps, because it's only 15 amps max. It's probably from to a dead short. Okay, now notice how the battery right now is 12.68 volts because I've been drawing it. Okay, now let's see. Uh, plug this puppy in right here and then just hook it temporarily straight to the battery and see how it brings up the voltage. Okay. What was it? 12.68 before? Okay. Twelve point seven one, twelve point seven two. So it is charging the batteries. The solar panel is charging the batteries. This battery pack faster than the video camera and my tablet PC and my cell phone charger can draw it down. Okay, just thought I'd do a quick amperage check to see how many amps this solar panel will kick out at uh, what was it, twelve point seven four volts. So. Basically, you hook the uh, multimeter up the to the 10 amp uh, 10 amp position, and then uh, hook it up to the 10 amp uh, plug, and then the common plug, and then put this in series with the load. If you're a mechanic, you'll know what I'm talking about. And never ever put it across a power source, or you will blow your fuse. Then you'll have to if you're a uh, Working in a shop, you have to go to the parts guy and say, I blew my multimeter fuse, and then everybody laughs at you. <laughs> so, okay. We have 0.75 uh, amps right now, which um, 